Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ANFI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday on Wednesday, so that is where the green and red line annotations are coming from. But definitely after today's price movement, some updates here need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning and just get rid of that line down there. Sure, that level still pertains, it's just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's clutter with lines everywhere you look. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update that needs to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So going forward, right around the 77 cent mark is gonna be that ideal level of support. Ideal meaning, Clay, what would make this chart look the best going forward? Certainly if the price can stay above 77. Now don't get me wrong though, if the price falls below 77, by no means am I implying that the entire chart is broken or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to actually stay up above 77 cents, that would without question be a, a huge sign of power on the bull's part. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so a big picture point of view. So this certainly assumes you have a broader time horizon of things, but that is where the purple line comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, this line here is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you gonna best visualize that? You know, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above uh, the purple line, uh, or excuse me, staying above 77 cents would be great, but as long as the price is above that purple line, then from the grand scheme of it all, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are at, nothing complicated here at all, other than the fact that the party stopped today up there at the dollar three on this big breakout. So a dollar dollar three will be public enemy number one going into Friday. All in all though, anyway, look at it. Very nice movement today. And as long as the price continues to chip away at those higher bases, that's what you wanna see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.